One thing was, I actually talked to the woman today about ESAs. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? Are we sassy? Sleep. And I hear some doggies coming up the stairs. Let's see where they are. Hello? Oh, yes. In my fluff butt. In my fluff butt. Emerald. 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 I love you. My brother's probably downstairs hanging out with Dad. So, how has today been? Because I haven't talked to you guys all day today, so, hi. <laughs> um, so I had work. Work is always interesting. Especially because I get to pet dogs. Um, excuse you, MRL, why are you sniffing through my garbage? Is it because the greenie wrapper's in there? We used up the last of our greenies, and now you want more? You want more? Lord, you're spoiled. And, of course, I have my boxes over there for training and puzzles and stuff. And then I figured, hey, for Christmas, I have a lot of boxes that I can wrap presents in. I would some, send somebody a Greenies box. Fun fact, I did get a care package in college that was wrapped in an oatmeal box. Fantastic. One of my favorites. Um, and after lunch, my friend Caitlin was in town getting her hair done, so we went and had lunch... I meant after work. I don't know why I said after lunch. Anyway, I hear another doggy coming to the door. Let's see who it is. Riddler! Hello! Hi, Riddler. Are you two going to behave? I don't want you guys arguing while I'm recording and talking to the people. You, there's no more greenies, bud. Quit sniffing in the trash. Thank you. Good boy. Um, and then came home. I was supposed to be going out with friends tonight. We were going to do some Pokemon hunting, but because of weather, we were like, no, we're not going to do this. MRL, you better be sharing your toys, boy. One of the horns has managed to disappear, so that makes this whole sharing thing even more exciting. So then the rest of the evening has been lazy exciting. Uh, so, a couple of things that are coming to mind at the moment. Hey, there's a Riddler coming to snuggle. You want to snuggle with me? Riddler, do you want to snuggle? Come here. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, really? That's a lovely butt you have, buddy. No one wants to see your butthole. My brother's joked about getting one of those, like, it looks like a sparkly gem that you put on your cat's tail to hide their butthole. And we're talking about putting one on Riddler. Yes, great pet parents. But, um, anyway, so... One thing was, I actually talked to the woman today about ESAs. Because while I was helping her and her adorable little poodle, she was telling me about how Walmart has been, like, looking the other way whenever people bring dogs in. Like, dogs are brought in in shopping carts and stuff. And I'm just like, what? That's, that's not okay. <laughs> Only service dog teams are allowed there. And she's like, yeah, but a lot of people are, like, passing off their animals as comfort animals. And, like, I was planning on getting my poodle registered as a comfort animal. And I was just like, uh, ma'am, that's illegal, actually. So, fun fact for you guys who don't know the difference between ESA and SD. Which, I say this because a lot of people thought I was trying to get an ESA when I was on my service dog hunt. So, ESA is Emotional Support Animal. It's comfort animal. Same thing. Sir, SD, service dog. ESAs do not have public access rights. While service dogs do. So, ESAs cannot go into non-pet friendly places. Like Walmart or a restaurant. Or things like that. So, ESAs are only allowed in two places. They are allowed in non-pet friendly housing and on airplanes. But you have to have a doctor's note saying that you can have a comfort animal. Though people have been abusing the living crap out of comfort animal usage. 
They'll bring in notes saying like, oh, this is my comfort animal. And it's like a freaking ball python. I've seen some weird stories about airlines. Um, this man actually did an experiment where he brought three different animals three different times. And apparently they didn't care when he brought a hedgehog. They didn't care when he brought a chicken. But when he brought a python, they're like, no. Um, but with that being said, no, comfort animals are not allowed at Walmart. That is not a place for them to be. And I let her know that. She was like, oh, I didn't know that was illegal. I'm like, yeah. So people abuse the fact that the ADA does not require registration or certification for service dogs. In some countries, they do. I know somebody told me that in Australia, they do require that. But in America, we don't. And because of that, people abuse the crap out of that and will just sla slap a vest on their dog or not even that at all and just be like, oh, hey, my dog's a service dog. And no, that's not how that works. So I didn't have this conversation with a woman thinking she could bring her therapy dog everywhere because at first my thought was she would turn this on to Blue Buffalo saying that Blue Buffalo is the one that put, all, put up to all this. But because this woman clearly had no idea and was surprised i was like yeah you don't want this hey guys so sorry for the long pause there even though it's gonna look like a short pause to you guys but um yeah i got the dogs to quit fighting over a darn toy and then i was looking up ways to help mrl to be like why is he not learning to share one thing i saw is that he could be like he could not he could not be confident in himself which I mean, could be possible since he's the youngest of three dogs. So we worked for about an hour on puzzle games, which I basically took these boxes, put treats in them, and made them diff in varying levels of difficulty. Thumbs up if you guys would like me to make a video showing how I used these five cardboard boxes to create all sorts of weird and crazy puzzles. All you'll need is cardboard boxes, toys, of course treats so fun times but the other thing I was gonna tell you guys that I found really interesting so at one point mom and I are discussing my health my mom was wondering if I had chronic fatigue syndrome because I've been so exhausted lately so out of curiosity I looked it up turns out the majority of the symptoms for chronic fatigue syndrome actually fit me perfectly I had a bug on my arm. So I was like, wow, that is interesting. A lot of hypothyroid symptoms fit with me and a lot of chronic fatigue fits with me. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I may bring it up to my doctor next time I talk to her and just see, but I know Monday I'm going to be finding out what the results of my ultrasound was. So we shall see what happens there. Exciting. But, yeah. Yeah, boy. We need to learn to be more confident, huh? Yeah? It's hard to when you have a big brother and a big sister. Yeah. So now, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Tell me one good thing that happened to you today. We could call it a sprinkle, per se. I'm taking a slice of lime reference there. What is one good thing that happened? For me, it was getting to spend time with my friend Caitlin. So, put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Emerald. Good night, Riddler. And good night, Sassafrasum.